coach a tough one tonight, talking a little bit about how it went down. Yeah, it was. I mean, this was a uh, sheesh. Um, not much really good to say about this one for us. I mean, I will say this. I thought that we generated some pretty good looks in the first half. Um, and the fact that we couldn't make pretty much anything deflated us, you know, but more than anything on the defensive end, I mean, shoot, we just had no resistance, man. You know, um, I get 58 points in the paint in the first half. I mean, shoot, that it takes t – most teams don't get that in a game. You know, so we just had no resistance. I thought uh, we allowed our lack of shot making to deflate us on the other end of the floor. And then you're playing against a, an elite team, you know, that, that really moves the ball. You know, they get 41 assists on 53 made field goals. It's, I mean, shoot, that's unheard of, you know. So it was, it was almost like a perfect storm, to be honest with you. You know, nothing really worked for us. Well, I thought that, um, you know, they allow the most catch and shoot threes in the league, you know, so we did a good job of finding shooters or finding shots. We couldn't make shots, you know, um, but they do have a really good defense. Don't get me wrong, they have a, a really good defense. So um, I think it was a little bit of both, but we, we did a good job of trying to get the type of shots that we wanted, you know, um, just couldn't make. Jones, you've got a team of professionals. How, what's your message to them, either at halftime or in timeouts in the second half, when a game gets that out of control? And, and how do you think they responded to it? Yeah, you know, um, when a game gets kind of that far out of reach and you got a game again tomorrow, um, you got to be smart about when you take your starters out of there. Uh, obviously, you know, I took them out of there you know, maybe seven minutes left in the third quarter. It was so far out of reach. But to me, it's about um, you just – you're going to have nights like this. You know, I know personally I've been on – I've been in the game like this before, but on the other side of it. Um, but you just can't let go of the rope, you know. And I was proud of, like, of those young guys. Those young guys came out there. They was tired as heck, man. But they, they laid it on the line. They fought hard. They were still picking up full court. They're getting deflections. Um, and that's what you want. You know, you want guys just not going to let go of the rope out there. Um, so I was definitely proud about that.